Welcome to everyone. Uh, let's start our first meeting with uh, one of the companies presenting inside of a new point of materials. So welcome Federico Goldman from Lego Group. And she will introduce today Lego for the planet. So why we need to talk about sustainability. And now we are talking about components, mineral, the chemistry of the raw material of minerals. So can I give you the stage? Thank you so much. I'm so sorry because I'm sure of voice. <laughs> it's, a it's, a, it's a present of my daughter, actually. Uh, so I hope you can forgive me. But I wanted to be here anyway with you today because I think it's really an important opportunity. And it's the first time to me to take part to this important event. Um, my name is Federica Caldeman, as introduced by Orietta. I'm working as strategic marketing manager for Lego Group Company and I specialize in the fashion and luxury. Today, we are here to share with you the choice of Lego. In terms of uh, responsible sourcing of precious metals from recycled sources. Before starting with the presentation, I would like to make you a question. The question is, if it's working, it's not working. OK, OK, excellent. The question is, what does it really mean to be responsible? This is a question that was made to me few weeks ago from someone that was meant to be here and unfortunately he couldn't come. Um, I have to say that I had really to think about the reply. That's right. <laughs> I had really to think about the reply and the meaning of the word responsible. Because uh, you understand that, that it's a lot. It's a lot. And I really ask you to think about the meaning for you of being responsible. And in a while, I'm going to share with you which is the reply that I give. So, OK, it's a bit slow, but <laughs> why is this topic so crucial? This topic is so crucial because we don't have alternatives. It's very simple. In Europe, among the many goals related to the environmental sustainability, the main one, as we all know, is to have the greenhouse gas emission by 2050. So you understand which is the responsibility of everyone. We are all responsible and we can do everything, we can do something. In the jewelry world, which is the one we belong to, one of the main factors that impact the environment is the matter supply source. So the question is, what can we do then? Is there anything that we can actually do? And the answer is yes. There is something that we can do. And it's even more impressive when you, when you look at the, these details and you see that using recycled metals instead of finer virgin ores reduces air pollution by 80%, which is a lot. Water pollution by 76% and water use by 40%. It's really a lot. So it means that if we really want, we can do something. We need just to act. Now you, you may ask, uh, OK, but where can recycled metals be supplied from? From processing waste of industrial components, jewelry, silverware, electronics, the recovery of plating solution, or from divestment. 
and now even more important, how can I be sure that precious metals are recycled? This is really an important question. You have to know that among the different modalities, the RJC COC certification is one of the most known and recognized internationally. RJC, which stays for Responsible Jewelry Council, is the entity that can issue Code of Practice and COC, Chain of Custody. Code of Practice establishes the uh, responsible practice in terms of human rights, in terms of environmental issues, in terms of uh, business ethics. And the COC, the Chain of Custody, guarantees the integrity and checks every single step from source to retail of the entire production chain. And each step is traced through the transfer document. So what is the benefit to the customer? Very simple. Sustainability drives sales. We all know nothing new. Market analysis tells us that millennials and Gen Z who are driving 85% of the global luxury sales growth, are oriented not only to aesthetics, but they are really sensitive to the sustainability topics. And this actually was accelerated with the pandemic. It was already going to this direction, but the pandemic accelerated this phenomenon. So you understand that being responsible towards the customers allows the development of a sustainable supply chain that contributes to generate shared value among all of the players of the supply chain and generating positive economic, social, and environmental returns. So, which is the benefit of a responsible sourcing? reduce waste, increase customer trust, improve brand image, increase competitive advantages, and attract stakeholders from the employee to the investors. And now we come to the point. Why is Legor facing, how is Legor facing the sustainability challenge? Well, pleased to say that in addition to RJC COP and RJC COC, Legor has added the provenance claim. What is the provenance claim? It's a statement certified by RJC, which says that all of the precious metals used by Legor are 100% RJC COC compliant, but 100% from recycled sources. And this is really crucial. From Italy, we can serve the entire world in compliance with RJC COC certification. And soon, we will be able to make it also directly from our branches. You understand that this, for us, is uh, an important goal. It doesn't mean that we are arrived. It's um, one of uh, many other goals that we have to reach, because it's a path. It's a long, it's a long path. But we are sure that we are going the right direction. And this goal goes together with uh, the choice of 100% green energy, 9% recycling of processed water, sustainable packaging. Which are the precious metals we are talking about? We are talking about gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and rhodium. And once again, I emphasize that because this passage is very important. Ligor is the first, and to date, of course, the only company operating in chemistry and metallurgy. When I'm referring to chemistry and metallurgy, I'm referring to two metal science on which we base our expertise. 
We are serving the gold, silver, and fashion accessories sector through the provenance claim. And through the provenance claim, we provide all of the alloys, all of the plating solution, all of the powders with precious metals, 100% recycled, and RJC COC compliant. Where do the precious metals used by LEGO come from? We have seen it before. The source is the same we have seen before. From processing waste of electronics, jewelry, silver, gold, from industry, from banks, divestment, from chemistry, recovery of uh, plating solutions. And now I would like to add another thing. Um, recently, on the 24th of January, the PH investment, which is the holding of a Legor Group company, has acquired the 49% of Refimet and 10% of Ecomet Refining Company. Refimet is leader in the refining and the, mm, the refining and the recovery of the precious metals. What does it mean? For us, it gives us the possibility to embrace the, the vision of the circular economy, embrace the vision of the green transition. So understand how important it is for us to give total transparency, transparency and traceability to our customers about the entire supply chain and having the direct control of the supply chain. Here, simply, I wanted to share with you which are the areas, the major areas, because then it depends always on availability, from which these uh, mm, recycled sources are coming, mainly from the north of America, from Europe, and from Southeast Asia. Why do we do that? We do that because we care. Care is one of the founding principles of Legor Group. The man that you can see here, that you see here, is the founder of the company, Mr. Gianni Poliero. He is holding his grandson. He cares about the son. He cares about the family. Since everything started more than 40 years ago, because the company has a history of 40 years, we have always promised ourselves that the value of what we do relies in what we believe in. And this really from a family business, she has all the structure that come the choice, the preference of a long-term prosperity rather than a short-term profit. Whatever we do, we do it to respond to ourselves and to our consciences. We have declared in 2005, 2005, when responsibility was not the trend that is now, we have declared our sense in an ethical code. We simply wrote in words what we were already doing in fact, and we declare our choice of responsibility. So care, once again, is one of the founding principles of LEGO, taking care of the world around us and the people who live in. And all of this, it is actually materializing now in an ongoing process project to become B Corp. Do you remember the question I made you before, in the beginning? What does it really mean to be responsible? Responsible, this is my, <laughs> my opinion, my point of view. Responsible is the one who provides an answer. We need to give an answer. And in this case, responsible sourcing is the only answer we know. I don't think that there is too much to add. Now, for those who don't know LEGO, who don't know our company, we are an international company with headquarters in Vicenza, in the northeast of Italy. 
We are specialized in precious metal science. We work for the jewelry, for the fashion, and for the industrial plating sectors. We pioneer new technologies. We transform metals into best-in-class alloys and plating solution. We unveil metals. We unveil metals peculiar, stellar qualities, and empower our customers to shape ideas into fascinating creations. We are committing to sustainable innovation and knowledge sharing. We can guarantee the global presence through our branches, through our 50 dealers all over the world. We serve more than 10,000 customers, more than 40 years of experience in this sector. 40% of the jewelry produced, gold jewelry produced in the world, are produced with our alloys, and 10% of the jewelry and the fashion accessories items are treated with our plating solutions. I really invite you to visit our website, our social channels, to find out more about how LEGO cares for the planet and the people who live in. And I'm just, I anticipate that in a two weeks time, we are going to organize a webinar event and we are going to talk about responsible sourcing and lots more. There are going to be also some special guests. So if you are mm, interested, I suggest you to get in touch with me and I make sure you will subscribe to the event. Thank you so much. I made it. Of course, thank you. Of course, thank you, thank you very much, even because you really uh, try the best effort to challenge your voice, <laughs> your voice issue. Actually, I really have a lot, a lot of questions. So one of my first questions was, how do you educate people <laughs> in terms of learning something hidden like a material like yours? Because it's not so, it's not so easy to get to get understanding that from a bag we see a chain which is in a metallic component and beyond it we have such a long stories that we have to control all the scenario. I, I wish that the owner play a bigger role, isn't it? Yes, I can tell you that you touched really an important point which is the knowledge sharing. Mm. For us, uh, sharing the know-how that we have acquired throughout the years as a metallurgist and chemist specialist is, uh, I would say, the most important thing. And um, everything we do is based on that, uh, supporting and being close to our customers and guarantee the complete support in terms of the entire supply chain means sharing the know-how acquired throughout the years. And there is a lot that we have to do in this meaning because no, is no, this, um, this information are not really well, um, well known. Mm. It's something that we understand we are so inside this topic that for us is normal, but we understand that there is a lot to talk, a lot to share. So uh, from now on, uh, well, it was always in our DNA, but we have to do a further effort in order to make sure this information are spread in the right way, this information reach everyone, because it's absolutely important. Great, excellent. Thank you very much. Let me Thank close you so the much. session, and I think you can share directly with all the guests and talk each other. and. Uh, visit the booth. Yeah. Thank you very much. Any question, please uh, feel free to contact me, or um, I can even give you the business card. But well, the, info the content information are there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if I give Grazie. you also the business. Thank you so much. Grazie. Come on. <laughs>